Welcome back to Rodcast, guys. Hope y'all doing well out there. I'm your host, Rod, as always. And in this video, we're going to be doing an update to a legal case that I covered in December of last year, where I discussed with you guys two MAGA lawyers, election deniers, who brought a ridiculous conspiracy theory to Colorado federal court, trying to claim that Dominion and Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg and uh, Gretchen Whitmer and a whole bunch of other Democrats and corporations, different corporations, work together to try to switch votes using Dominion systems against Donald Trump, basically switching Donald Trump's votes to Joe Biden's votes. This was the claim that they made. They couldn't prove a single word of anything they claimed. And they were fined $186,000 plus by the judge in that case, the magistrate judge who threw out the case. They lost all the evidentiary hearings because they had no proof and they lost in the courts, but they tried to appeal the sanction of $186,000 in total. The last time I covered the case uh, back in December was when they went up to the 10th Circuit Court of Appeals where they lost. And I told you guys that if they were stupid enough to go up to the Supreme Court, that they would lose their as well. And now this story is regarding the fact that their lawyers are now having to pay uh, about $180,000 in legal fees or uh, fines technically uh, for filing this frivolous lawsuit. It's okay. So the latest story is that the uh, the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals has upheld a fine of $180,000 or thereabouts that was leveled against them by a judge in November of 2021. So uh, in early 2021, um, they lost the case completely. And then by, by November of 2021, their lawyers were fined uh, by the judge for bringing this frivolous lawsuit at the request of the defendants. Okay, so the plaintiff lawyers were fined by the court and the fines have been upheld by the appeals court. And that's uh, what we're we're going to be covering today. So things like this need to happen. If we can't f punish the parties, which is much more difficult, we have we can at least punish the lawyers and deter them from taking up these frivolous lawsuits trying to overthrow our democracy. Just because they don't like the fact that Democrats won, that's the only real reason that they're suing. They have no legal grounds. They have no evidentiary grounds. Uh, and multiple evidentiary hearings were held before this case was dismissed. And they had nothing. OK, so this is um, the latest uh, filing here on 1213, that's yesterday, uh, from the 10th Circuit Court of Appeals, which is the appeals court for Colorado. When you lose in district court in Colorado, you can appeal up to the appeals court, and then you can also appeal up to the Supreme Court. I, uh, I, th I don't think they're stupid enough to appeal up to the Supreme Court, because if they lost here, they're going to lose in Supreme Court too. They were stupid enough to go up to the Supreme Court and they lost their writ. Okay, They filed a writ for certiorari and it was not granted. That's upper court review by the Supreme Court and it was not granted by Neil Gorsuch. Uh, SCOTUS, in a lengthy order list to kick off the October term, refused to hear the petition for a writ of certiorari that was filed uh, by Ernest J. Walker and Gary D. Fielder in May. Okay, of this year. In their petition, the attorneys asserted that the trial and the appellate court based their cost sanctioned rulings upon a misunderstanding of constitutional law and Section 1983, which, if not corrected, will have a long and devastating effect on American jurisprudence. Uh, based on what I saw from their filing and the arguments they made, they're the ones who don't understand American jurisprudence. They don't understand Section 1983, and they certainly don't understand constitutional law. There was no constitutional law in question here. In this particular motion for sanctions, the uh, magistrate judge, Nerder, who uh, made this decision, had all the right in the world to do it. They, had, they brought completely frivolous claims that were dismissed by the judge for very good reasons. So let's look at what the magistrate judge had to say here briefly. A federal magistrate judge in November of 2021 ordered Walker and Fielder to pay a combined total of $186,922.50 in 2021 for trying to pass off unverified and uninvestigated defamatory rumors as court's credible pleadings. When Magistrate Judge N. Reed Nerder decided to toss the case in August of 2021, he called the bad faith lawsuit one enormous conspiracy theory. The magistrate noted that the lawyers had even cited uh, up a Time magazine article as supposed proof of a racketeering plot involving Democratic governors and secretaries of state to steal the election from Donald Trump and hand it to Joe Biden. With the help of voting machine company Dominion, social media giant Facebook, and Georgia's Republican governor 
and Secretary of State. So they actually attacked Kemp, Brian Kemp, who's a Republican, and he had, they tried to attach him to this conspiracy as well. This is all born from uh, Twitter and Facebook conspiracy theories. And these jackasses tried to bring it into court, and they got their asses kicked by the judge, and now they've been rejected by the Supreme Court. That's what's happened here. Because the MAGA movement is filled with idiots. Even their lawyers are stupid and don't understand American jurisprudence, and they certainly don't understand Anglo-Saxon jurisprudence, as they have demonstrated with their ridiculous laws that they've been trying to pass. But their lawyers, their regular voters, they're all incredibly ignorant and stupid. Now, there's a, I don't mean to insult them, okay? I think they can cure themselves of their stupidity by actually getting a clue and realizing that Trump and the Republican Party are a bunch of jackasses who have nothing uh, a good to do for America, okay? Not that the Democrats are awesome. The Democrats suck in their own way, but the Republicans certainly are not the answer to anything, okay? And you should not be following these people at all. They suck. They don't, they're stupid. They're ignorant. They don't know the law. They don't know politics. They don't know anything. They don't know history. The Republican Party and Donald Trump are not qualified to run a freaking lemonade stand, let alone run a country. Okay, these people are completely unqualified. And that's all I got to say about that. Quote, for plaintiffs counsel to hold up this article as supporting the existence of an illegal RICO conspiracy to rig the election is an affront to the truth and an attempt to mislead the court, Nerder said, the magistrate judge, uh, at the time, adding that the case was not a client-generated lawsuit. This is exclusively a creation of the plaintiff's counsel, meaning the lawyers. They are experienced lawyers who should have known better. That's why he that's why he put sanctions on them. They need to take responsibility for their misconduct. The magistrate summarized. The magistrate judge further said that Walker and Fielder's pointless and unjustified lawsuit will also damage the public trust in the legal system by manipulating gullible members of the public and fomenting public unrest. These people are liars, and now they're ha gonna have to pay the hundred and eighty six thousand nine hundred ninety two dollars that they owe to the different parties. Dominion is gonna get sixty two thousand dollars if I'm uh, not mistaken. I remember that from my last video. Um, so yeah. MAGA election deniers have lost once again. These are lawyers, by the way, and their sanctions have been held up because the Supreme Court rejected their appeal. And that's all I gotta say for this video. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. If you want to see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to keep current with the videos that I'm making. And if you have been watching for a long time and appreciate my content and the time that I put into these videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I post all the legal documents I use in my videos on Patreon for my patrons. I also post extra legal content when I don't have time to make videos on Patreon for my patrons. As a patron, you can also contact me directly on on Patreon to request a video or ask a question about a relevant topic. These are all privileges that I provide for my patron supporters. With all that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a very nice day.